My name is Abby Dowdy, and I am part of the group that supports buying from local businesses. First, I would like to introduce our group. First, we have me, Abby Dowdy, and then Mallory Eddington, Calvin Fox, and Jake Dider. And we are part of the side that supports buying from local businesses. I bet you all recognize these restaurants in the stores. They are everywhere. They are in every city, town, state, and that is part of the problem. Have you ever noticed that when you travel somewhere new or go somewhere you haven't been, or even just go around the town that you live in, you see the exact same chain restaurants in major stores. They are everywhere. And those mom and pop stores and restaurants are disappearing and going out of business because we are buying from these chain restaurants. First, I would like to introduce our first presenter, which is me. I will be talking about how buying from local businesses helps diversify the community. First of all, buying from local businesses helps boost the economy. It helps local businesses have more money to circulate and overall create better service and product. Just think about the next time that you buy from a local business or even a chain restaurant. When you're buying from a chain restaurant, you are just lend, giving them money to another millionaire CEO who just wants to buy a new house and buy another yacht. That's what you're paying for. But when you think about buying from a local business, just think about that you are helping that family put food on the table. You're helping that family give their daughter dance lessons or get them new clothes and overall just help them in a better way than you would be helping this millionaire who has no idea who you are. So just think about that the next time you're trying to decide between a local restaurant or a chain restaurant. I think that when you buy from a local business, you get overall better service and product because when you're putting money into that, they put that money toward helping you and bettering you. They have been on the other side of that table and they want to ensure that you have the best experience possible. Instead of when you go to another McDonald's or another KFC, they don't really care what your experience is like. You're just another customer going through the drive through and they don't really care because they still get paid anyway. So it's real, a big difference when it comes from buying locally and buying from a chain restaurant and how that your money is going to use. When you buy local, your money is twice effective. You are being a like environmental friendly person because you are helping them produce more money, which is overall helping your town or city. Because when you aren't when you aren't buying from these local restaurants, these local restaurants have to shut down or move locations and you have to travel a distance to go to these places. When they are able to have money and stay productive, they can stay in the heart of the town. So you can walk or bike to that restaurant instead of taking a car and polluting the world to just go to this restaurant. You are putting money in that is twice as effective. When you go purchase at a chain restaurant, your money makes no difference to them. It's just another dollar. But when you buy from a local restaurant, that money means so much to them and it is just circulating to overall help you and it just stays local. There is a business wheel. When you buy locally, it helps the business, it helps the community, which create jobs, which overall helps diversify the community as a whole. Next, I would like to introduce Mallory Eddington, who will be talking about how buying from local businesses helps strengthen the locals. What is another reason that you should buy local? Strengthening locals. Having communities that are strong and productive is vital to the success of the economy, both nationally and locally. And it all starts with supporting local businesses within these communities. 50% of the entire U.S. workforce is employed by small businesses. This means that these local companies are employing and providing a means of living for people within the community. This is important because when you employ people that have personal connections to your company, 
quality of goods and services and customer satisfaction increases drastically. This is because researchers have found that worker commitment scores at these small businesses nearly double that of those at nationwide companies. This is vital for these companies in order to compete with these nationwide companies. When they have employees that are loyal and dedicated and they are able to increase the quality of service and customer satisfaction, it helps them overcome obstacles that they may face. Because 99% of all businesses in the US are small businesses and local companies. However, they only make up 50% of the national GDP. This means that 0.1% of all businesses in the United States make up 50% of the national GDP. This is for a number of reasons. One of which is name recognition. Customers are more likely to buy from a name that they know and that they trust. This is an obstacle that small businesses face because at first it is very difficult with their limited number of resources and stores to reach a broader audience and to gain credibility and trust. But it is important that we support these local businesses and we buy from them and help them challenge nationwide companies. Because $68 for every $100 spent at a local company recirculates back into the community, while only $43 out of every 100 from a nationwide company goes back into the community. So what are some ways that you can support local business? The first one is probably the most obvious, shop locally. It is no secret that the number one resource that these small companies need, especially in the early stages, is cash. Cash flow is vital in order to pay wages, restock shelves, and have success overall as a company. So when we decide, when we have a need, we need to look at these local companies first instead of going straight to big, bigger nationwide companies. Some other ways that we can support these local businesses is by leaving reviews and sharing them on public platforms. Like I said before, name recognition and establishing credibility is one of the toughest challenges that these local businesses face in the early going. So when we are able to share our experiences and our good experiences with people from around the world and people that we know online, it is much more likely that they are able to increase customers and increase trust and credibility in the company and build a reputation. Another way that we can build a help build a company's reputation is simply through word of mouth. When we tell someone personally of our experiences and testify and vouch for a company, it impacts other people at a different extent than just reading something online. So whether it be our family, our friends, or people from other areas coming to the city looking for places to go, sharing our experiences will help these companies more than we know. Another one that we can use is be involved. While we all wish we had unlimited money to help unlimited local businesses, that's just not reasonable for a lot of us. But one thing that we can do without spending any money is to be involved. A lot of these companies run promotions, they have newsletters, or they simply just need help. It is important that we stick along them and support them and act as a customer base in order to spread their name in order to engage with them so that they can have more success. And when a community is able to do all of these things and look to support these local companies, this, these communities will be strengthened and become more productive than ever. And next, I would like to introduce Jake Diger, who will be talking about how buying from local businesses helps create jobs. Thank you, Abby. Another benefit of buying locally is to increase tourism. It can better education, improve infrastructure, and promote further tourism. Here is an image of a group of individuals staying locally and supporting a local area. The five A's of tourism, access, attractions, accommodation, 
activities, amenities. Buying local also creates jobs. Buying locally can employ 58.9 million people. That is the number of jobs that local businesses create. Local businesses created 1.5 million new jobs in the year 2003. With the rise of minimum wage, it has had a negative impact on local businesses. By buying locally, it can further support local businesses and allow them to keep their employees with the raise in minimum wage. Buying locally also brings recognition to the local community. And local employment is a vital part of an economic system. So here are some local jobs in Utah for you. You can be a sales associate at your local AutoZone or American Eagle. You can be a driver at FedEx or at a school. And you can be a cook at Starbucks or Shaved Ice. The possibilities are endless. And finally, I would like to introduce Calvin Fox, who will be talking about how buying from local businesses helps recirculate money. What is the most important reason you should buy local? Recirculate money. When you buy local, more money stays local. It's as simple as that. When you buy from an independent business rather than a national chain, a greater portion of the revenue stays within the local economy and strengthens its economic base. This is known as the local multiplier effect. The local multiplier effect refers to how many times dollars are recirculated within a local economy. A local business recycles a larger share of its revenue back within the local economy, while a chain funnels more of the money back to corporate headquarters and to distant suppliers. According to a study by Civic Economics, a private research firm, on average, 48% of each purchase at a local business was recirculated locally, compared to less than 14% by chain stores. And when it comes to restaurants, local independent ones recirculated 65% back into the community. Civic Economics compared the annual reports of major chain retailers Office Max, Home Depot, Target, and Barnes and & Noble, and compared them to locally owned Utah businesses. The national chains recirculated an average of 13.6% of all revenue within the local markets, compared to 52% by independents. When comparing national chain restaurants, the chains recirculated an average of 30.4% compared to 78.6% by independents. Local businesses spend more money locally on supplies, goods, and services. This helps create a local supply chain. A simple example. A local farmer sells produce to a local restaurant. The local restaurant then serves local customers. The farmer and the restaurant both pay local employees and more money stays within the community. Because local business owners are more likely to also buy local, they spend more money on local resources. A local supply chain helps support the growth of local businesses and helps create a stable local economy. Making the decision to buy local can be a difficult one when considering cost, convenience, and variety. In today's world where there are national chains conveniently placed in about every city, as well 
as the variety of low-cost goods available on Amazon, it takes a conscious effort to buy local. Buying 100% local would be quite the task. Challenge yourself to make the 10% shift. Shifting just 10% of purchases from national chains to locally owned retailers and restaurants. According to Local First Utah, making the 10% shift would help keep over a billion dollars within the local economy. Here are some ways that you can help support local Utah businesses. Shop for groceries at associated food stores like Macy's and Dan's. Bank at Utah-based companies like Central Bank and Utah First Credit Union. And buy food and beverage from one of the many locally owned restaurants like Apollo Burger, The Italian Place, and Beans and Brews. When you spend your hard-earned money locally, your money doesn't line the pockets of some faceless corporation. It's recirculated within our local economy. It pays the wages of local workers, and it's spent to procure other goods and services locally. Michael H. Schumann, the author of the book Going Local, said, Going local does not mean walling off the outside world. It means lo nurturing locally owned businesses which use local resources sustainably, employ local workers at decent wages, and serve primarily local consumers. It means becoming more self-sufficient and less dependent on imports. Control moves from the boardrooms of distant corporations and back into the community where it belongs. So, why should you buy local? Diversify communities. Strengthen locals. Create jobs. Recirculate money. Buy local. Thank you.